Now moving on to Springfield, and Springfield is a shop I went in in Tenerife. First thing I got is this Urban Tribal Limited Edition perfume. This was eight euros and it smells really, really nice. And the other thing I got from Springfield is this dress. Now this is so not me. Like I don't normally go for dresses like this, but for some reason I just thought, let's try it. And I actually wore this on my engagement night. I uh, went to the Hard Rock Cafe to celebrate our engagement and I wore this dress. And I got mine in this size. Euro 38, I'm not too sure what size that is in England. Um, it's all, um, it's all, you've got like this underdress as well. This makes me feel like a Russian doll, I don't know why. It is really, really gorgeous. It just has these drawstrings at the front that you can tie. Um, a lot of people say I really, really suit this. Um, I do like it, but I'm not too sure if it's me, but it's always good to try something new. So the only two things I got from Springfield. Now moving on to another shop that I went to in Tenerife called Stradivarius. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's kind of a long word to pronounce but I'm sure I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a really gorgeous shop and they've actually just opened one in the Trapper Centre which is amazing. I've already been in it. It is so good. Um, so the first thing I got from Stradivarius is another A-line skirt. And I got this in black and it's just like the Prime white one, it all buttons down in the front. Um, I think this was just like 13 euros, not too sure. I've seen the exact same one of this in Top Shop for like almost 30 pounds, which is ridiculous, like ridiculous, seriously. Um, so I'm so glad I got this. Um, it's just like a really, the denim is quite stiff, but yeah, it is actually quite comfy. That's the first thing I got from Stradivarius. The next thing I got from there is this skirt. This was on sale. I can't remember how much it was. It's just a like tight fitting skirt and it like cinches up the side. So like it's like higher up on one leg than the other side. It's really really comfy. Um, got mine in a size large. The medium was just way too tight like I could not get my big bum in it. Um, so I got a large, it's really really comfy. Um, I love to wear this on like nights out with my friends clubbing. It's just such a gorgeous skirt to have. And then the last thing I got from Stradivarius is this gorgeous handbag and I just fell in love with this as soon as I saw it. It's just like really simple but it's really gorgeous. Um, this is the bag I'm actually going to use now. So if you'd like to see a what's in my bag video then go ahead and leave me a comment and thumbs this video up and I shall do it for you. Now this bag used to be it used to be 30 euros and I got it for 15.99 euros. But this is massive. It has like the middle compartment here, and then it has a, another side, and it has a, another side. So it's absolutely huge. It has a big long shoulder strap. I love all the gold buckles. It also has this front pocket as well which is really, really cute just love all the little like simple details about this this is the handbag i shall be using in there now moving on to a bershka and i love bershka but i was so disappointed when i went to tenerife i literally saw two things and like the first time i went in there with matt on our first holiday i saw loads of stuff i'm not even joking and this time i only really saw two i think it's because they get all like their new like uh, ranging and like getting rid of all the other stuff so I didn't really see much. The only thing I saw firstly was this little khaki green top top crop crop top you can tell I'm not filming in a while. Um I do love this I wore this all the time with high waisted jeans it's just really really cute. And then the last thing I got is this little top and it just says my dog is cooler than yours because if you don't know, I do have a puppy. I have a six month old golden Labrador called Summer. I um, so do have a puppy. I have a puppy and two cats. Um, I just thought they were really cute. Like when I take her out, I'm like, yeah, bitch, my dog's cooler than yours. <laughs> Which to me, I probably would too. Um, but yeah, I just thought it really cute. These ones still have like three euros. So the two things that I got from Bershka. Now the next two things I got are from a shop called Star Trek Fashion. It's a shop in Las Cristianas that I went to whilst I was in Tenerife. And I have no idea why it's called that, but it is. Um, I, I just baffled me. I don't know where they got that name from because it's not like 
it's not like a fancy dress shop or anything it's a really nice clothing store and um, so I've got, bought quite a few things from there first one being this bodycon blue dress with this gorgeous like lace detailing in the front and it just sticks up in the back this already has built in boobies and it has a wire there to keep this shape which is really nice so that is the first thing I actually wore this last night and it's really really comfy the next thing I got from there is similar dress in this pink and it has really thick wraps on this one. I've already worn this as well and it is really, really nice. I went a bit pink mad as you'll see because the next thing I got is a play suit and it's pink and it just has this cut out detailing in the front and the straps cross over at the back as you can see. I haven't worn this yet but yeah I went a bit pink mad in this shop. I don't know why um, but I did. The last pink thing I got from there it's just this little crop top which has this little like little buckle detailing on the front all these little spaghetti straps it's really really cute the best thing about these all these have built in boobies so you don't really need to wear a bra if you don't want to but i still need to because i have pancake boobs so yeah um that shop is really good um if you're ever in lost christianity do go in there i'll just warn you do check the clothes for makeup stains because a lot of the clothes that I've seen like I wanted a lot, like a lot of yellow and white stuff and they were full of foundation stains so if you do go in that shop in Lost Christian do look out for the marks you don't want to pay money for something that has a load of dirty marks in it so that is why I got the pink because for some reason they didn't have any marks on so that's why I got from them and that blue dress was perfect and I love it so they're all the things that I got from Star Trek fashion. Now moving on to a, another shop that is from Tenerife called Lefties, or LFT for short. And this was actually in Siam Mall. If you would like to see a Tenerife travel diary, do let me know, because I did film whilst I was there, but I'm not too sure whether to upload it or not. So do let me know if you'd like to see that or not. So the other thing I got from there are two bikinis, which I don't know why because I have a million bikinis. I have like a bikini and boots problem, you know, I, I think I do need to go and get help because it's coming to a joke now. I'm like I'm running out of wardrobe space and I am stuck, what is you stuck on? So I got these two bikini tops and these are like the triangle, like, um, what's the word? like spin off, like, like a copy of the triangular swimwear. So I got in this like turquoise greeny bluey colour. It's more green in person than it is on camera. On camera it looks really blue. Now I've just got this bright neon pink and I also got the matching bikini bottoms as well. These look kind of cheeky, cheeky cheeky. Um, these bottoms were four euros each and the tops were four euros each as well and i got all mine in the size medium so they're the other things i got from lefties now the last shop that i went to in tenerife which is ale hop and it's just this massive cow so every time you see like this cow you're in ale hop um, Ale Hop is a new store that I've seen in Tenerife when I went. It is lovely. They have like all sorts of jewellery, like little nifty, quirky things. And the other thing I got was I got this waterproof bag because me and Matt did go on a boat trip, so I wanted something to put my camera in. So I bought this. I also bought a waterproof phone cover, which is, I think it's in my suitcase. I also bought these hair ties, which I completely forgot about. Like these have been this carrier since July. It's like a present from me to me. These were um no price on these. There's no price on them. And um, you can wear these as like hair ties are as like bracelets. They're like non-flasticated. I just got mine in white, black, and grey. So they're actually all the things I got from Tenerife. Now I did go to the a um, few other places so I should show you things I got so of course I went to Lush and I got oh, I got three bath bombs um, which came to £9 like Lush is super dear for the things you put in the bath and just a few seconds 
Um, I got the butter ball, which is 275. I got the sex ball, which is my absolute favourite, and that was 350. I got the Think Pink bath bomb, which is 275. That gives me nice bombs. I almost died for three bath bombs. I'm like, the Think Pink and butter ball are the tiny ones, and the sex bomb is a big one. It's like nine pounds. I'm like, oh, I'm for real. Um, but it's worth it. I do love lush, lush, lush bath bombs. I do just wish they were a tad bit cheaper so I can buy more. But yeah, I'll like save these three. Like I've been having showers to try and not like use them all. Um, but I'll be going shopping again next week, so I'll just go and get some more anyway. And the last place I went to is Super Drug, da, 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 da. and the first thing I got from Super Drug is just a new eraser. And this is the Gillette Venus and All Eraser. It comes with five blades. I think this was on sale. Where's the receipt? Uh, what is it? Uh, 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 I can't find it. I think this was like £7. It was on sale. Um, I do need a new razor. I thought I'd go ahead and try it. Especially because it comes with five blades as well. I thought that was a really good bargain. So that's the first thing I got. Now the next thing I got from Supertruck is the L'Oreal Paris LV by Brology Thickening Shampoo and Conditioner. These were £3 each I think and um, after we really need to try some new shampoo and conditioner. I have really thin hair so I'm going to see if these actually do help to thick, thicken, thicken up my hair. I have recently had my hair cut, you won't be able to tell because I've got my hair extension but it's like just up to here um, and it's like really thin. So I'm going to see if this does help to thicken up my hair myself in the face with it. Um, so I'm really excited to try these out. Like I don't, I've used L'Oreal shampoos before but not for a long long time so I'm really excited to go delve, is that the word delve? Delve into L'Oreal shampoo good as your world. I'm just babbling now, I'll shut up. Next thing I got is just some nail glue because I do wear, I now wear um, stick on nails because my nails are terrible so I do have some on now, painted in black ready for Halloween. I'm excited, okay. So I got this nail glue, it's just the finishing touches brush on pink nail glue. I got these stiletto nail set from Elegant Touch, that's what I'm wearing now. And these are the short stiletto 006, and they're really, really good. I mean, they just look like normal nails, they're really, really cute. Um, you can actually get them in long as well, but I like the short ones just for where I work it's just easier to have shorter nails and long so I got them. I got some mints. I got a oh I got two nail polishes. I got the molten mi, molten metal nail paint by Barry M and what colour is this? This is called Silver Lining it's metallic silver nail polish. I got the Kylie Jenner nail varnish in um Friend it matters and this is a satin colour, it's like a cobalt blue and this is for the Sinful Colours range, I'm really excited to wear this, it looks absolutely gorgeous, it matches the top quite well so I think I shall wear this next. And then the last thing I got is this Flawless Hydro Fix Primer Water by Barry N. Now I hate primers. I can't stand the feel of them. I cannot put a primer on with my fingers. It freaks me out so much. I have to put it on with a brush. So why not get a spray primer? That like sounds so cool. So this says it not only for makeup lasting longer and your face will feel fresh and hydrated with this flawless lightweight primer water. Perfect way to prepare your skin and to prime your makeup for polish prolong wear. So they're all the things I got from Super Joe. So that is actually everything that I bought from my huge collective haul. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like to see more try on clothing hauls because I love filming hauls. Um, this is like my first one on my channel because I did delete all my other ones so I do hope that you enjoy this one. Um, so please go ahead and thumbs this video up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future uploads from me. Um, the button is down there somewhere, go ahead and click it, please. Um, so I do hope you enjoy this video and let, do let me know if you'd like to see a Tenerife travel diary. Um, I'll do that for you if you like and a what's in my bag video. 
Also, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I should leave it here and a link will be down below because I've just restarted my theme. So I really hope you all go and check that out and let me know what you think of it. So thank you all so much for watching and I shall see you in my next video. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Bye.